Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Asus Tinkerboard and you might notice I'm running Android here. So they made an Android build available to the public. You can now buy an Asus Tinkerboard on Amazon. I will leave links in the description. So this is their beta of 6.0.1. Runs pretty good. There is no Google Play pre-installed yet. I was able to get Google Play installed using a method I use on a lot of different devices, but then Google Play services started crashing after I downloaded about five apps. So I went back to the stock setup, sideloaded some apps, ran some benchmarks. I wanna show you those now. This is pretty cool. It runs fairly good. I did have it crash one time, but I believe it's due to Android running off an SD card. It just really can't keep up, but it seems to perform fairly well. I'm going to go ahead and open up Ida 64. Go to system. We have the rock chip RK 3288 with two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM built into this board. The CPU is a quad core Cortex A17 at 1.8 gigahertz, and it is clocked at 1.8. The GPU is a Mali T760 4 core, and it does OpenGL 3.2. We'll go on to some benchmarks. I was not able to finish Antutu. It crashed on me when it got to RAM, but the 3D mark finished up. So Slingshot scored a 652, not too great. Ice Storm Unlimited scored a 12,135. Again, not that great. 652, we'll go to best devices. And as you can see, the Nvidia Shield is way up there. We don't even come close. But this is a $60 single board, low powered computer. And it's really not meant for this type of performance that the Nvidia Shield puts out. Next up, Geekbench. Single core, 814. Multi-core score. 1,970. Now I was expecting a lower score than this. It's not great, but it's not too bad either. This is an older chip that was used in a lot of older Android TV boxes. So as you can see, I have some other apps installed, but I made this video just to show you guys that Android is running on the Tinkerboard. Now PSP runs great, Minecraft runs amazing, Moopin64, Yobasa runs at half speed. That's the Sega Saturn emulator, nothing much we can do right now about that. One thing I did notice was Kodi will not launch. I sideloaded this Kodi Krypton from my cell phone and it got stuck at the loading bar and now it just force closes or I get a gray screen. So I might need to find a different version, a different APK. I'm not sure what's going on, but this will probably be fixed in the next update or two. So I'm going to be coming back with another video as soon as I can get Google Play installed without it crashing all the time. My initial thoughts, this is a really awesome build for a first release. Now there's some stuff that's not working, but it's kind of a given with a first release of a beta build. You'll always run into something not launching, something crashing, but they're doing a great job and hopefully this will be updated over time and we'll get really good performance out of this Asus Tinkerboard running Android. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. I'm also leaving Amazon links in the description so you can go and buy an Asus Tinkerboard if you want. Like always, thanks for watching.